Yo guys, it's Sexty Cat here. I'm uh, doing some programming while listening slash watching to uh, Rocket Knight Adventure or somebody playing it without any commentary. This is one of my favorite games, and uh, I like to. Ha I was just thought of this having this on to be inspired, and and I wanted the music anyways. I was gonna put the music on, but I was like, hey, somebody could just be playing it, especially if they're not talking. Then I can talk. Oh, a great Konami game. Now, let me tell you here, this game. What a great blend of cinematic and animation and me mechanic, game mechanic as well. It's a quite challenging game. Oh my god, it's... it's the music is fast! Why is it fast? Oh no. Oh, <gasps> why? Okay, well that's a gap pat one there. Sorry, Amy Rose. Is this one normal? Huh? It's a boss battle! Wait. Holy fuck. These are all faster. The soundtrack I've been listening to forever is slower than this. Oh my, and I've listened to it so much that this just sounds so, so different and wrong. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna go on crack. You know, these songs are pretty fast anyways. Yikes. You know what, did they, you know what they did? Maybe they sped it up. They must have sped it up so they could monetize the video. You know, let's, uh... I'm still, gonna, I'm still gonna search. But look at that, you can see from the game there's, you know, a couple boss fights already. There were simple beats to follow. There wasn't even any dialogue, and you can kind of tell what's going on. Well, granted, it's cliche, hero. But look at that parallax. It was so, that part, like right when he gets, gets into the rocket, it was such a great moment. I can't handle this fucking way too fast rocket knight. Oh yeah, there was a PC one they made way later. So crazy. I've never played Sparkster or I think it's Rocket Knight 2 technically. And I guess that would be worthwhile. It looks far different. Let's see. 60 FPS. Maybe that means it's the correct <laughs> rate. I don't know. I, I would have to see. Wow, this looks really nice. Really crisp on my screen. Yeah, it sounds fast. It's so weird. Why would the soundtrack be slower? Shit. I can't even see anything anyways. God damn it. Well, perhaps we'll just put on the Rocket Knight soundtrack then, hey? I believe I just can't monetize if you use something with the rights. I don't care, we'll see what happens. You can't even put it on the tubes, can't you? I've kind of forgotten about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Anywho, let's just put on my music, huh? Wow. Oops. I'll have to do some file digging anyways. Let's see. Just the... It's quite, quite good enough. So I've transitioned from window, I mean from PC, <coughs> from Mac to PC now, because my Mac Mini just fucking just died out of nowhere. And now not using iTunes, I'm very happy. My life is a little bit better. I don't, I think if you use any music player other than iTunes, God, that was really pissing me off. It's so. Yeah, I'm just not gonna complain about it. Hey, I can't complain about it because I'm a software developer. Shit! <laughs> so, the stuff I was gonna program today, or right now, is this platforming element of Observateur. So, I haven't really developed much about it, but I have. Let me close that. These are a few songs that I, I made. 
This one in particular is off the Nutcracker Suite, but I just resynthed it and uh, put some rhythms that actually don't, they're in different times signatures than the, there's a lot of offbeat syncopation, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, another thing, instead of using GarageBand, using FL Studio or Fruity Loops, oh my god, so good. Let's see here, we needed a, uh... see I'm trying to get a sprite in this game, yeah I want to show you the, the platform, oh it's still running, holy crap. So this is basically the physics engine that I use, it's p2.js, um, it's really fantastic, absolutely fabulous. I've used it for a few prototypes now. And so I've generated this little world to test out some things. Like, um, let's zoom out. I forgot how much, let's zoom in right now. Is it 10? Is it less that goes higher? Okay, look. Oh my god, look at all that stuff. For one, I was testing how much you could render at once. Or sim this is, you know, simulating all the physics at once. And it's not too laggy, especially with me recording at the same time. It's laggy, but it's my computer sucks, so. <laughs> I think everybody who will be playing this will have a better computer than me. Which is maybe partially why I make simple games. Maybe I have a simple computer because I like simple games. Maybe just my life is just fits all in a perfect tapestry. But uh, these are all just randomly made and they're just spinning obviously. But this current physics iteration he has. Um, I'm talking about Step, which is the creator of this physics um, engine. Fuck. Good thing that didn't break the game. Oh, thank God! <laughs> I set a variable like with a with a letter. Um, I'm just trying to change the zoom. So basically, in this part of the game, there's basically spaceships. You navigate around these spaceships. This fucking thing is so annoying with the win scrolling window. Um, so you need to jump around. These fucking rotating things are annoying. I'm gonna take it off. So let's see. Um, fuck. I haven't messed with this. Um. I haven't messed with this little program in a while. So I'm looking for where it rotates. So I can stop the rotation. And this is... I mean, this is a sample of from Step. And this is a recent iteration of his... Um, physics engine where he implemented stuff specifically for platformers and it's, he calls it kinematic player controller or something like that and so I was already trying to make some platforming stuff with uh, with this engine, with the basic engine but now that he added this stuff all the troubles I was having are, are kind of resolved which is really awesome oh, one really cool thing about this physics engine is that it's incredibly optimized like simplicity and speed and efficiency. So even if something my crap, like I said, my crappy computer can still render this just fine. There's a lot of physics stuff. It uses a different mathematical formula to calculate them all, I suppose. And I'll be here to just slow it down, adding, making it bloated and such. Um, so the kinematic control, there's a lot of these attributes down here it's showing. Um, so it gives you, this is all connected to the current player right here and uh, it give you these variables that might be useful for you to program in the game. So I guess these are all just collisions, huh? Wait, it just says collisions done. So say right now it's collision below is true, you probably want him to stop falling. So basically if it's false, you know you're adding gravity or whatever. I assume that's what the kinematic controller is doing. It's probably in a more efficient way than that. <laughs> than even how I could possibly explain it. Um, and then collisions left, you would stop. So this is basic physics programming. I tried to do a little bit. I, oh, I made a... Pr I gotta say, for my first physics engine, I, I was pretty impressed. Um, I've used Box 2D a lot. And then this is just like a fucking the best physics engine ever. But uh, making your own, you kind of learn... It is There's a simplicity to it. You're basically just every frame checking the sides of your care of whatever things are moving and based upon what's there in that frame you'll change the velocity or change attributes you know say there's 
Um, oh yeah, I love this. He can drag on the wall on the upper incline. In, in, I wanted to be very nimble in this physics platformer, which is again just a, a part of the full game. It's actually like a sub game. It should be really it should be rather difficult to get to. Not 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 really. There's there's a few space stuff um, and magic and like other coolness, but um, I wanted to start by adding our character into the game. So somewhere somewhere in the render function is there a render function oh, in the right okay. there's no it must be there's an animate one oh I didn't spell function right hop to do to do da function render okay lerp what the fuck is that lerp I mean that's something that they've come up with in their engine thing I'll shake hair. So I believe the camera is different. Because this is going to be a game in par with my other game, I have to be curious about how it works. And it works together. It might just literally just be a separate game, pretty much. Like, programmatically wise. You would. And it changes the, the viewpoint on my main game, which I guess I could show you right here. The main part of the game. Your, uh, I haven't shown this, the latest version. You are the observer, this flying thing. And uh, start off in this freighter ship. You're on this island. And uh, there's uh, stuff going on on the island, huh? Yeah, this is exciting. This looks, compared to the, the last game I just showed you, this looks more like a game. Or it looks like something. <laughs> Instead of boxes. But yeah, I'm actually going to add this character, Lily. Oh, she's pushing that box like a boss. Oh, damn. Um, crate. And uh, got to program her as a little 2D platformer. So I, what I was showing, why I was showing you this is that this game is like an isometric overhead view. And then um, the sub-games are 2D platformers. But there's still characters that are within each world. And the, it's the same world. It's the same exact world. Even though it might not seem like it. Oh, I, I love going to the lore and I just want to talk about it all. But this is more of a programming episode. Oh, fuck. I ran into something. Oh. What the fuck? Ugh, that's an old bit of code I need to get rid of. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I found a, found it. Uh, 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 I wouldn't even know what to look for. It's probably in the init function. Basically, there's just a physics body I was testing, and uh, I never got rid of it. Let's see. Uh, where's the... Where in the world... Oh, one doesn't have a... Oh, it doesn't add the other crate. It's another crate. It should be right there. So, if I just add it. Oh, let me explain what I just did there. Um, so, I have short little things. Little, I make a new a new object I call doodad. So, that'll have its own thing. But it's going to be part of this array called game objects. And within the game objects, it does it change the position. Or no, it renders it, basically, out of the array. Once it has the body, the body's already in the the world bodies, and they'll just render themselves. And basically, they send. I check during the render. You check the location, so then that's how you know where to draw, and what you want to draw. And I did some fun stuff recently too with the with the script stuff. I'm really happy with it. It makes it basically just created this method to easily change and add script bits and make the characters do stuff in an order the whole thing was to make it in a sequence because this game basically this town everybody has their routines and so you need to basically make them move make them talk so we can look into this i make this very this method called a beat 
And basically, basically it's just a function with two parameters. This is basically the function, and these are the two parameters. There's always a character first, and then usually the, the main data that you're sending. But l when you're reading it, it looks nice to tell what's going on, saying bin, the character bin, walk to this location, the center east. Um, and then that'll it'll sequence after that, after, after pin is gonna wait for 5,000 milliseconds. And then, so, it just makes it easy to see and understand and edit. There's gonna be a big change, because this game is mostly dialogue audio instead of text. I'm actually there's not going to be any dialogue text like you're seeing right now. Um, so implementing the audio is going to be a whole nother fiasco. I have to. I've been kind of worried about, but I just haven't tested it yet. I mean, I've tested that you exactly the main idea of having all these audio bits, which is being able to hear characters when you're close to them. I mean, logically they sh that should be an easy thing to do, right? I was just one. I was wondering how I could implement it, and how it seemed like. So I tested it with music. I basically gave music all these locations. I played all the music at the same time, and then it didn't seem to bug out anything. Um, again, slow computer, so I pretty much anybody else could play it. And as you go to different locations, the music fades in and fades out. And all I had to do to do that is to take the player location, take the distance between that and the music location and if it's a certain limit within a limit then you then you change the audio volume based upon that distance um, I can actually show you that function it's a surprisingly simple like idea which is fun I, lo I love that I love the thing with programming is that you're making stuff to help you you make things you just if you have your vision, then you can just make getting to that vision easier by making little stuff. All right, what uh, I was gonna show you the uh, I get so distracted. Fuck. <laughs> now I, I can only think of my Z order function now. Um, I'll talk about that. I oh, know we talked about the distance music thing. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Okay, check, is, is just a called, there's just a function called check music, check, check distance. Mm -hmm. I think, I think there's an interval set near near, near the end of init the init function. Oh man, where is it? Did I, I might have deleted it, which doesn't make sense because I would need it later. Oh, check volume. Check volume, baby. That's what I need. So you can set this on an interval, so to repeat all the time. So it checks for each song. Um, this is just a number I need. I needed to test out. So, and so you get the distance, which I have a function to do that, which is right here, which is a cool. I just stole this function. Distance between two points. I guess I don't know that I could have thought of this. It is like the square. You just. I mean, I've, I've must have done this before. I just always forget later. I always have to draw from my other games for bits of code, bits of like different functions. Cause you don't want to rewrite the wheel like five times, you know. And even this, like a lot of stuff you can just take from other people. Um, steal it. No, people provide it. You know, Stack Overflow. It's all free, free info. Okay. So you take the distance, distance between points, which is that X one, you know, bullshit. Um, between the camera position, which is actually where the character, the main player is. That's just where it's deriving it from. Camera position 1, or 0. Camera position X, minus half the screen width. So it's the middle of it. Um, and then, where the song, each song has an X and Y um, a tribute to it. So then it, it takes that point two for the distance equation. If one minus distance times a factor is less than zero, honestly, just looking at that, I can't like imagine it what that's doing personally. <laughs> so maybe it wasn't much help to show this. Sometimes I'm just like, 
moving numbers around until it works. <laughs> oh, this is basically if it's if it's too far away, there it won't play it. I mean, I can just tell that because it's saying volume zero. Otherwise, if it's within that distance, then because you're checking this, the else ifs won't trigger unless this isn't is. So that's why you can say else if, and you don't have to check this stuff again or something like that. Oh, it changed. I have the have the daylight change during different periods of the day. There's a morning, an afternoon, an evening, and the nighttime. So I just know I'm. I forgot I had it on honestly. Um, let's see. And oh, so you do check it if the distance is close enough. Oh, then you put just max volume. Oh, and then you. What? I guess this is like either the closest or the yeah the closest because it's volume one, which is I think max. Then, otherwise you're just just incrementing by decimal place how loud it is. I suppose I could show that. It's worthwhile. It's playing the same songs I'm playing now. The only way. To not get stroke stricken. So load all the songs. We gotta play all the songs. Do on song on load. Either play. Nah, I don't. I think that's the talking in fragments. I apologize. Just thinking out loud. Um. Gotta look at songs. That's where all the songs are. Ugh. Okay. I think. Yes. This is it. That's all I need to undo. Oh, it needs to check volume all the time. So I gotta set interval for check volume. Set interval. Check volume every. Um. Hundred. Milliseconds. Just plenty fun. It's like six times a second. That's enough. Save some. Oh god, there's an error. Unexpected string. We'll just remove the string. Just why would a single string mess up a whole operation? It's quite preposterous. <laughs> uh -uh. It just wants comma right there. It's a little comma. That's all I need. Okay, let me mute this music. Let's just pause it. So we should play all these songs at the same time, but you won't hear them. Because it'll be adjusting the volume. Until you're close enough. I don't even know if those locations are, are, are anything relevant. Okay, let's see if they can hear anything. Oh, Charles, get out of the road! If you're wondering what these numbers are, this is the time. I'm, I did my own form of time. It's not exact. A thousand, it's still a thousand milliseconds for a second. But then for the minute, I just call it something else. I call it a hex. And it's 64 seconds. And I did that for the squareness of that number. And how you can take it apart and make it perfect, perfect parts. Um, 60 is a pretty good number itself, you can do that, but it's just perfectly square, 64, 64 is such a fucking good number. So that's saying right now it's, it's 64 minus 16, which is 48. That's 48 seconds in the game. So that's just a way for me to measure the game, to divide, because the whole game needs to be a whole, and I need to divide it to be balanced. So that's a way for me to see the fragments. So one hex is one sixteenth of the whole game. The whole game is... 60 or I mean 16 hex minutes so a little more than 60 16 minutes so that's yeah <laughs> if that was useful or helpful to hear at all she's in control of her life give her a goddamn cocktail it's Agatha asking Lady Doris for a cocktail she's about to start her shift in the restaurant and the music is not working that's the whole point of what we were trying to do let's see Oops. So perhaps the songs didn't get started. 
Centers, I'll check volume. Do we... Does check of volume work? Okay, well first we'll take off check volume, see if that's fucking up us right now. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Oh god, okay. Hey, if you're playing along, you can see what I did wrong, but I don't know what I did wrong yet. So check volume is fucked up. It's not. Or, the lo like I said, the locations of the songs. Let's see. How do you even... I have no idea where they're attributed to, the songs. Places, song and place, places I, places. Oh, so it's the, these places are, tell you where the songs are. Which should work then. Freighter front, freighter middle, that's where you start. I mean, it's, maybe this should be different, but the rest are fine. Damn. It doesn't work for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't save it, I guess? The check volume. Didn't mess that up. Check volume is obviously muting it at least when it's running. Oh boy. I don't know, man. You do not know. No, maybe the XY is wrong. Should be negative. Because canvas renders. The y-axis is different, so when you're rendering between the physics engine and the canvas, you have to flip the y-axis. So it causes, you just don't remember exactly when you're flipping, and you can flip extra too many times, and that's bad, and then you get more confused by the numbers. Numbers! The x is negative, but the y is not, and that's, doesn't, that just doesn't seem right. And the place is not negative. Oh man, this looks like a wreck. I'm gonna first reference the other camera positions, see if we needed to invert them for other stuff compared to the physics engines. To look at active stuff. Hop toddy, doodaddy. Oh boy. I don't know why that was the first camera position. Uh, I'm going to flip this just to see what happens. Ah, poop. Where the devil is the music? It must be somewhere. Where is it? Those are the parents of a child. Children, actually. Well, look at me flying to the day, sir. I'm just seeing if the location is, like, way off. So weird. Well, you know, I'll have to figure that out later. Oh, boy. Let me just bring it back now. Bring it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Three hops this time. Let me test one more time with the other, with the original programmaton. Maybe it's not inverting. Ah, fucking shite. Doesn't make sense that it's inverted X to me. I need to look and render. See where it goes in the beginning. Player body position zero, player one, minus. Oh, okay, that's just 
I don't know. Let's just check the speed. Oh, that's pretty cool. What? Oh. Checks the speed by actually adding the velocity to its current position. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. This is where you render the whole background. Just one image there. One big image, but I scale it real big. That's why it's distorted. But it's not blurry because I changed how the scaling is. I do by cubic instead of by linear. Basically, just turning off anti-aliasing. You could t say it that way as well. Let's see, these are little circles that come from your character. I wanted to see where. So, like when it renders it, is this position? Its X position is fine, and then its Y needs to be inverted. So it, it has to be. Fuck, where was it again? Check volume. It's really strange. Maybe the location isn't... You know, it used to work. But I have a feeling that... It... Ah, fuck. It did for a second. It was for 100 milliseconds that all the music played at the same time. Or all the songs that were loaded played. These little black specks. <laughs> so you might be wondering what you do in this game. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, man. Oh, man. I guess I could see... Yeah, let's debug stuff. Well, you know, a qu a easy way... This will log us the distance between the character and the, each music. Oh fuck, it's going to be a lot of data. But we'll at least get an idea of what's going on. She's pretty far away. But we do hot and cold and get closer. By the number going down. It's not, it's not going again. Okay. Okay, some numbers moved. Northeast, what is that? The numbers don't change very often, are they? They're way too big, They're huge. They seem to be going like the same distance, and that's weird in itself. Oh my god, am I further away? Why isn't it fucking staying up with the? It's making my head hurt. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Let's just have one song. Might be a little easier. Oops. <laughs> okay, got one song. Okay. What? It's the same distance. What? It's not changing. Okay, that's telling us something very poignant. It's not taking the proper player position. What is it? camera pose why wouldn't that be accurate I don't understand it's so weird well we could just do player um, <clears throat> body dot position Hurry for a second. Oh, I'm getting closer. <gasps> there it is. Okay. So let's get a little closer. This should be the loudest. Oh, well, now I'm gonna physically make it louder because it's not that loud. Wait, the distance is still like 4,000. Oh shit, do I never get close enough? Oh shit, where is it? All the barrels? 
hot and cold. Oh, it's over here? Oh, man, it's getting way loud. Okay, location is like way over here. Which is not right. None of the locations are over there, so that's fucked up. Unless it is. What's the first place that's pushed? Freighter front. What? So maybe it was supposed to be inverted in the way. For whatever reason, I don't care. I'm not going to fucking think about it. <laughs> Math. Uh, I did negative body player position, so it needs to be negative. It's the right X. It's the wrong Y. Oh, it doesn't have to be inverted. Negative screen width. Oh. Okay, this is where it should be. And it seems like it is. Yeah, I'm getting away from it. Oh, hell yeah. I finally got to show you what I was talking about. <laughs> from like 50 minutes ago. So as you can see, the volume is adjusted. Finally debugged it. So it must have been made when it was a former version of the game when I didn't have the player character and so it just worked differently for whatever reason but that's good I mean I, I had to do this sooner or later so now it seems like you're in a different area obviously the distance thing wouldn't be the <laughs> the distance thing is for the dialogue it's not for the music the music will be point in polygon um, calls Basically, when you're inside a, a building, it's going to be... It's going to check your player position. If it's in this box, it's like, oh, you're inside this building. It's not going to show anything outside of the building. It's going to show the interior of the building. Uh, it's going to have its own sounds inside the building. Its own people talking. Um, for example, we're in the freighter here. There's actually going to be a little section in the front. Alf, this guy, he's going to be in the front. There's going to be some controls. Boop, boops and beeps. Oh, Benjamin's pushing that crate like you don't care. I'm really happy with just how silly cartoons can have this like physicality to them if you just do a few things like the... You see how he's by the box? If he's below the box, he's underneath it. But then if you're... Oh, wait, the player doesn't... The fly guy doesn't do that. But if other guys are... Fuck! I can't show you now. I can't control any of the regular characters. Anyways, let's let's do all the songs really quickly just to see what that seems like. This song was meant to be played exactly with the hexes. It's supposed to be exactly just it's 60 BPM, so it goes along with seconds and minutes. I just realized one or I thought it was 32 measures to do a minute I don't know I'm just talking on my ass now. <laughs> okay I put all the songs in now I think the blend over is a little bit too much I was wondering, I want to show Lily with the box there's a Z ordering, is what it used to be called. I don't know why, whatever. It's like the Z axis. You know, it's an X and Y. There's kind of a Z order. And how you achieve a Z order is not like there's anything already made. You can make up your own Z order. Um, here, look at her. She's going to be in front of the box, pushing it. Once she gets behind it, she goes behind it. And so that's done by... Um, Changing the order of how you draw things. Basically, whenever it draws something new, it draws it on top of what you just drew. So if you just order your drawing sequence to do things below or behind first, and then things that are on top or in front after. So me passing the door there, I would have to... I don't know how to do that, personally. <laughs> It's a little bit complicated. I might have just this open then. Because it's easy, like the Y, basically it just measures your Y axis. 
And whoever has the higher Y is on top, or I mean is below, is behind. So even this big object, all it's doing is checking the center. And once the center is different than this guy's center, then they'll change the sequence of the rendering. Like you can see right there. Nice. That was well timed. So now I can hear the music kind of transition. And this, again, I told you is for voices. So you shouldn't hear blending the music. That's why it has to be not a distance thing, but a point in rectangle or point in polygon thing. Um, and then once, for example, when you go outside the door, now you're gonna see the outside. And instead of the interior of the buildings, you're gonna see the exterior of the buildings, the top of them. And uh, then again, go in a door, now you're inside that world. Oh, this is sweet. That worked pretty well. Even though it's just a distance thing, it's still... It seems like now we're in a different room. And so, a big theme about this game is accomplish a lot with very little. Is kind of my... It's my credo for a lot of things. A lot of design. Um, I might design it ten times, which might be less efficient. But uh, the final design is usually more efficient in the end, as far as a product. And so... One of those things were expressing ideas. I want the player or the person to use their imagination to do the heavy lifting and their connection to previous ideas, their of global ideas to make a connection to the game, to make to almost grow the game, to produce the content. And I guess my best example is like a play, like a bootstrapped play production. Maybe even an improv group, where maybe there's almost no props. Maybe there is a prop, maybe they have a stick, and now they're pretending it's a magic wand. And everybody's moving around and personifying the idea that, oh, we're a, a bunch of mages on a hill. And just by expressing that, you feel like that exists. You're using your imagination in your mind's eye to create that world, even though it doesn't necessarily exist, it doesn't have all the details, the wizard's staff doesn't have a gem on top and the grooves in the wood, and yet it's almost like it has all that quality. It's almost, it's as ancient and as real um, from simply using a prop, using, using humans to act. And that's why it's very important in my game here is to have humans expressing with their voice the characters. The characters' animations are going to be extremely limited. Basically, it looks like the, Lily is pretty much full animated, like, other than her walking thing. Um, that's as far as I'm going to go, as far as animating. Um, and and that's all I have to do, like, to speak. I don't have to open her, close her mouth for every exact audible sound she did. I was thinking about doing that. I could measure the volume levels and actually make it open at different you know times I could constantly make them open and close I tested different things but it just seemed the best just to keep it open while they're talking keep it closed when they're not very simple and it gives you everything you need to know sure it'd be cool if there were like super fluid awesome animations but you know what I'm still accomplishing even just the text even without the audio this is giving a story. You're you're personifying this, even though these are just drawings. You just looking at it, you kind of get a sense of what actually something is going on right now. Like these people are talking. What's going on? They they have like their own will. Like they, even though it's just drawings and text. And obviously with the voices, it'll really raise the level of that a lot. A great example again is um, a radio story. You listen to just the sounds and the narration and the dialogue and you produce this story, this universe, essentially, in your head, in your mind's eye. Oh, sound effects. I can't wait to add sound effects, I tell you. Uh, audio is one of my favorite parts of making games. This is, uh, what's his working name right now? I forgot. What's his name? Ernie. Ernie is his name. He's a shopkeeper. 
can't wait to make the items. The items are going to be very... And again, like, the, when I'm designing these rooms, I'm taking that same credo that I'm doing very little to accomplish a lot. So... A, an, an apple would just be, you know, the very basic line drawing of an apple. And yet, when you see that apple, when they're talking and interacting with that apple, the apple embodies ancient, ancient memories of fruit and eating them. And the whole personification of eating in life, you pull that into, even though this is just a simple drawing, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm kind of drawing upon people's own imaginations to do the heavy lifting. And I think that's even more fun. I find the mystery and the simpler expressions to be more enjoyable personally. So it's just akin to my style, you could say. While I have to implement all the simplicity because in a way there is a quite a complex level to this game, but it's something I really enjoy uh, doing, which is the integration of all these people's days, their little interactions into a tapestry that one, is interesting to listen to, and two, fits, <laughs> and three, actually pulls the gamer psychology to do different various things, or to give red herrings, or to give clues. It, it, not talking about it right now, it seems, makes it really seem daunting. But it's, I think it's one of the more fun things. It's is the reverse of of learn of figuring out a mystery is creating a mystery, and at first it's a mystery. You had the solution already, or you have some sort of arc already, and now you're filling in all the jigsaw pieces to fit together. I don't know. I have confidence that it'll fit well. I'm doing everything I can to do to do accomplish that. Okay, too much music. <laughs> Alrighty. So, and then here we are back to this very less animated, talk about simplicity, and I would like to accomplish my original task, which is to get Lily in this platformer. It'd be cool to get her voice to make little jump sounds, or um, or I can just do like a, a really simple sine wave thing, simple oscillators. Alright, we're going to put that music back on. I guess it will go through the whole playlist? Oh, it did. Wait, I don't know. Which one is it on? Over to you. So I need to get an image of Lily, one that I want to use. And this might not be good enough, personally, but I might just do it for now. Oh, boy. See, their faces and their bodies are separated. Maybe they're one. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like these. It's really flat. That's what I need. I want to do this one because it's different. But for that very reason, I shouldn't use that. Copy image. Let's go to. So I have this code f for this platforming thing, and I just took over one of their demo files. I'm just going to title it something different, just so I, whenever I see it, I know it's t special. Oh, she needs to be way smaller. Let's just re re <coughs> resave her. We'll find how big this box is. Um, I need to look in the code for that. Go to the platformer. Um, should be in function render. And somewhere it renders the character character body. Da, 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 da. I just don't know what lerp is. Concerns me. It must be something to do with something to do with the special character function he ha he made. Uh, draw body for each body. So I wonder if the character is just another body. It must be. What is draw body? Function draw body. X, Y, shapes. S shapes. If it's a box, then draw a box. If it's a circle, then make a circle. How about 
else if... Yikes. Whoa. Instance of... <gasps> I've always wanted to know if you could do that. I used to use always equals things, like... To check if a function, if it contains that function. If S is an instant of PT circles to do that. <gasps> That's amazing. Well, we'll just say if, if body dot. Oh, fuck. If uh, it doesn't have. I don't know how to identify the player without. I have to add something to its body. <laughs> Add it to its body. Oh, it's called player. Is player a function? Oh god. Oh, we can say if it's if the body is no. It's character body a global global variable. It is. Okay, so we could check that if it's an instance of character body or. It just equals character body. Draw body. Else if... Uh, if body... Oops. Oop. Body equals character body. I could be doing this wrong. I'm kind of smelling... It smells fishy. Like it might be wrong. Um, we're going to just log. Just so I know. Yeah! If it's working. Which it should do. It should just immediately say yeah if it's working. Uh, there's no yes. Okay, it's not right. Okay, if care body. Uh. Okay, we did do something different. Again, if I knew more, this could be easier. But in a way, I'm still a noob. Really? I can check the shape. See if that works. Whoa, where did they fucking go? Draw body, right? If... Fuck, I just gotta... I don't have a character. I don't have an image to reference from. <sighs> oh, if... I was gonna do... Instance of with no capitalization. Awesome. Instance of... Uh, P2 kinematic controller. Character controller. Oh, please, God, work. Oh, God. Oh, body is... Is character. Or player, right? Player.body? Come on. That's gotta work. What the fuck, man? Else if... Oh, because it's a box. <laughs> so it never even it never even looks at this all those things could have worked and I would have known because it never got to that if statement you gotta have it first boy oh boy because it's a box and then if it's a player body then yeah then else if then it's a box but even, so it doesn't do both that's what you gotta do else oh god oh yeah 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 it's going yeah there we go fuck yes alright we can accomplish our goal draw then we go to 2D drawing context. Draw image. Um, we'll draw it. Which first parameter you send is the image file. So I'll just directly say uh, lily.ping. Or lily.8bit. Uh, oh fuck. Is that how I did it? God damn it. Underscore 8bit. Oh, what do you know? Is that a ping? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you can directly draw. It might be need to be an image file. Let me just... Uh... Oh, God. This is just a temporary variable I'm putting in. Var... Lily... 
image equals new image with the location lily 8bit.ping this is like loose memory I'm not sure this is going to work at all very loose memory okay then we just draw image and then we call the variable not the actual image which is lily image right and I might have to do dot image oh fuck I hope that's right I think so I think that's right I, I did this I did draw image stuff recently so I didn't know about I never used it like before a few months ago okay I realized images files are faster than raw drawing on canvas but, can, but canvas drawing looks awesome okay image and then now the location so the location is the image player location so player dot body dot interpolated position for some reason I don't know why they use that in other places Oh, I guess that's X. There you go. X, Y, and that's all you need. Okay. Ah, let's hope for a miracle. Oh, don't yeah anymore. Oh, God. What the fuck? Okay, I can't draw it. Provided value is not an image. Okay, maybe it doesn't have to be Im dot image. Oh, bro. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? It might err in the beginning. Okay, you can't see her and I can't move either. Okay. Might have to be like negative or something. Are any of these things negative? Mm -hmm. oh, fuck, man. It's not giving me an error. Oh, maybe it's not doing this. Oh, it was doing it before. Zero? When it's doing the circle, it's doing it at zero, zero. I'm, then I'm thinking that, oh, it translates right here. It translates the whole canvas to somewhere. You little piece of poo. You little, you little shit. And I still can't see her. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm pissed off. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, coming along with us. It was a fun little journey. We'll see you around next time. On the Sexy Cat Express.